بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك آمين أما بعد فالسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته ما شاء الله رمضان المبارك to you and your family it's been a good month إن شاء الله وتعالى I hope you find in the fa'il in the ma'ful in the rawih do you yeah you are the rawih are you understanding hey what's happening with the rawih the coming the verses the words <laughs> so Bismillah, I think just some announcements first of all. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we confirmed our etikaf uh, for this year. So our etikaf for this year will be at Habibia Masjid, uh, inshallah. Uh, exciting to go to a new venue, uh, inshallah. Ta'ala. So as usual, the 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 etikaf, the sleepover is open to the males, um, but the programs are open to males, females, and the youth as well, and kids as well as usual. So the brothers, inshallah, if you have been, you know what it's like. If you haven't been, uh, if you can try, inshallah, with Allah. So basically, we'll be we'll be releasing the booking soon. So you can just like uh, Airbnb, you can book uh, all ten nights, you can book a weekend. <laughs> You can book uh, book on nights. You can book uh, uh, every want, inshallah. So um, we do encourage your brothers to to join, inshallah, if you are able to. Uh, some of the brothers even just uh, go to work and they come back and they sleep over and go to work again and so on. Um, and then usually, usually we have a full program of the all the waqts, all the waqts, all the awqat. So we're excited to to go there, inshallah, ta'ala. and the program is open for all the uh, everybody else. All the programs are open. Uh, five or six times a day and everything will be on youtube as well yeah. any questions about the etika already yeah so i think we're actually going to limit it only 18 and over for the sleepovers the programs i can all attend a uh, number of reasons uh we discussed but uh, uh for yeah just uh yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think the, the kids are beautiful to have, but you need a lot of infrastructure to do it, uh, to do it well. And I think that so we knew at the master day, so we just had to uh, be on our best behavior. Uh, <laughs> 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 no. Yeah. The second thing is that um, you'll be getting a lot of uh, uh, in-light marketing and uh, activity this this month, but. Uh, um, I think that a lot of the in support does come from Mizan and Zahra and Kutri. And uh, I'll actually open the, the website. Um, so this year we're trying to raise uh, a million rand this Ramadan, inshallah. Um, because basically we've expanded our projects. So um, and more teachers and so on and there's more there's more projects happening too but but uh we explain it so what, let me first go over what we do just for those who are not so familiar with in uh most of you are familiar with, but basically to start We had started and to um, and that we 
And we've seen the growth actually grows. Um, what we do is a number of things now where Back. Yeah. Yes, so so you'll see that we have a feeding program which is trying to raise funds for the year four, and then we have our uh, NGO uh, our funding program. The other thing we also do is that we, if there's any madrasa teacher who's currently a madrasa teacher and wants to go to uh, Darnaim or, or Mizan or DTI or any institute for Islamic studies. We fund their, their transport and their fees because that teacher already is working in the community. And if you develop them automatically, you have uh, improvement in the community. So we do that. So that's the Leaders of Light program and the Angel Development program. And we're also busy with the, the teacher training workshops, which we run out to the, the teachers in the madrasa. So those are the other are the programs. We have a number of videos here of what we do um, in the madrasa. Um, and you'll find all the videos here of what we do in the madrasa. So I think from the Mizan students, what I'm asking is to, if you can contribute to Alhamdulillah, you can, we accept all zakah, sadaqah, and all of those things. Um, and all our zakah is 100% distributable. Um, but I think also for you to be like an ambassador by sharing the posts, putting on your status, sharing to your family, because you have to like get the message out continuously in Ramadan to try to get the funding in content at once. And like it's a continuous process of just, um, of just sharing it. So I think that um, just to um, just to be a part of that, inshallah, with Allah would be would be good. Um, so I think so. Apologies for all the messages in the get because uh, we have lots of videos this, this year and, and so on. But just uh, watch them and share them, inshallah, and push them out and uh, encourage people to uh, to, um, to support the the madras to support in life. Um, I think the long-term vision, my, my personal vision for the long term is that you have to position Islam in a way that Islam provides a holistic solution. And currently we're focusing obviously on the Islamic education of madrasas, but there are other needs as well in the community. And I think that the, the long-term vision, and make to our inshallah, it's a time of du'as now, is that I do believe that we need to start a high school in the in like early in the poor areas basically. Because I'm because what happens is the madrasa generally attracts primary school kids. Most of them have non-Muslim homes. And then after primary school to go back, they leave madrasa, you know, there's no more thing that happens. But if you can basically create a high school, you can keep the kids within the Islamic system and you can provide them with a good education. And then those kids who do well, you can actually get them bursaries. And then they become, they basically get out of the cycle of poverty. Because you've taken them now, you've given them Islamic education, uh, academic education, and you can try and get them into, into careers. And that's, and as Muslims, basically, and that's, uh, that would be the long-term vision. So that's the long-term vision, inshallah, with uh, that we, that, uh, we haven't started doing it, I'm just thinking about it for now. Also, also the idea first, inshallah. Well, I that most of the kids come from non-Muslims. Yes. Yeah, so you find that the, the dynamic in like a colored township is different from black township. In a colored township, like in, for example, like in Sea Winds, we, we support the madrasa there with 150 kids. Most of those families are Muslim because you know, they sent to madrasa. But in a black township, you find that there's, number one, there's very few Muslims. Most of the Muslims are going to be foreigners. Um, but you find there's a lot of, there's, there's no like social safe spaces. You have very little like sports clubs, community, like is this. So the madrasa is one of the few safe spaces for kids to be at. So they come, they get some education, they get a meal, they get a safe space. And if you find that most of the kids are non-Muslim homes and the parents are okay with it uh, and so on. So, uh, 
So it's positive from, 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 from that perspective. Yeah. Okay. Then the other, you'll find two other messages on your chat if you open them. Uh, the other one is that we're doing a clothing drive. So if you if you look at the matrasas, I make it one of the videos here, you'll find often that um, that the madrasas are they often um, the kids are, they have like no like decent clothing. I'm not even talking about like kurtas and abayas and all of those things. I'm talking even just like I don't have any shots here on the madrasa here. Um, but you find the kids don't have something like sufficient clothing to wear, even like normal clothing. So what you're doing, inshallah, is that um, is this actually this actually should be a shabin before. There's a madrasa that we're supporting. And actually, one of the things that this madrasa, when you came in the first time, there was like five or six kids here. And so we started like supporting them and sort of feeding them. Now there's like over 100 kids here uh, at this madrasa. It's one of the like, nice stories, basically, uh, that we've, we've been helping them, alhamdulillah. So, um, so what we're doing is the one thing we're doing is that we are having a clothing drive. So, alhamdulillah, some other, other institutes are doing uh, like an Eid clothing set. But within that, what we're doing is we're saying, we're saying any clothing, any used clothing, pants, shirt, dress, scarf, anything. Not like underwear, obviously, but anything used uh, or new. We're collecting that and we're going to make basically parcels for the, for the madrasas. It's like 500 kids there, so we're trying to make a bit 500 cents. So that drive is on now. So please share that because uh, I think that's going to close soon. So the drop off point at the moment for that is good three in, in one, but the hours are on the message. Uh, for any like, kids' clothing that you, because now it's good time to clean out the cupboards now and and basically, uh, basically uh, donate don, don what you can, inshallah. So last we did it as well. We had lots and lots of clothes that we that we distributed, and we're also doing a food parcel drive as well, um, besides other funding things as well. So that's basically the in-light in light, uh, in light message for the month. I also, I'll also be sharing with you, um, for those who want to, Hamza, some of you do already contribute with your debit order forms, and that really helps helps, helps in light to, to run. But we will be sharing it for those who want to uh, also contribute, even like under a month. The collective helps institute run, and then we're able to work, basically. So it helps like the office run and help everything run so that the work can get, can get done. So we will be sharing that uh, one of these weeks, inshallah. It's optional, obviously, for those who, who want to. Good. Any questions on Inlight? My other new year, but it didn't come through, but inshallah it'll come through soon, inshallah, is that I want to take the Mizan students there. Like I do also want to connect us physically to the areas of need. Because only if you go see, you actually have no, and that was just like video and the EFT, like it's like you must go out there. So like in the year, inshallah, I want to take a few trips and take a few uh Mizan students and oh, you know, who wants to come. To basically go visit the madrasas, just visit them, see what they, uh, what's happening, and so on. Um, and our approach to the madrasas is is a is an approach where where we we partner with the madrasa. We don't control them. We basically find people in the communities working, and we say, "What do you need? How can we help you?" So we're not there to assert control, or we don't like we don't dictate to them. We say, "Like, what do you need of us to help you? I need this, this. Okay, we work towards it." So we're always trying to say, what do you need? Because it's your institution. We're here to support you. So that's our approach. So we don't run the madrasa. Even the funding we give is not considered to be salary. It's considered to be a stipend. Meaning what, if you're really earning 2,000 a month, if we're going to give you 2,000, that's fine. We're just here to give you some top up. We're not here to like pay you and control you and all of those things. So it's, uh, that's the approach that we have to the madrasas. And uh, it's been well received uh, from the institutes. Uh, alhamdulillah. Yeah. yeah, so generally we we find people that we we trust and know in the communities and they will tell us help us to to basically select and so on. Identify yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we have some uh, uh, like accountability things, we like uh, and so on. So there is accountability and, and checking and so on. But it's not like in the sense like control. It's more just like the basic agreement in place, and you meet the agreement, okay. and then you get the funding basically. No. <sighs> Any other questions? Yes, yes. So I don't know if you got the teachers there. Um, 
Yeah. I mean, the teacher with us, the teacher earns about two and a half, three thousand a month. Tough, tough life. Uh, and sometimes, sometimes that's the only job also, so it's not an easy life. So any support basically is always welcome at the matrasas. And the other vision, obviously, is the, the, the eventually is to upscale the physical building, upscale uniforms, stationery. So it becomes like a, you know, like a, looks like a premier institute of learning. Because now it's like in a shack, you know, like 50 kids in. So that's the, some of the long-term potential, um, inshallah. But uh, I think we must have those visits because you must see and then you must say, okay, I can do this, I can do this, I can fix the windows here. You know, like it becomes, that's how it happens basically um, to help, inshallah. And I think the other thing also that I'd love us to do is I'd love us to somehow be involved in the educational journey. Like I'd like to have a fun day with them and just like, I just feel like there needs to be like more interaction, uh, basically. We'll take them out on a fun day. Uh, like those kids went to the beach like once a year only. Uh, take them out for a fun day or so. Like it's just something in shalom. No. Make the intentions in Ramadan. Inshallah. No. For a visit. Yes, for the visit also, I think. Yes, yes. 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 Uh, part of your development is not only a personal development and your family's development, it's also reaching out to the community and making a difference. And I think that's what Inlato started and to facilitate. And my advice always to all students, every one of you, is attach yourself to one cause. Like you can find your own cause, whatever it is, but attach yourself, like in your life, there's some part of your life that is like really khidma. Like get a part of your life, you do something for khidma, even if it's once a month or something, but make some part of your life Attached to a cause. Any organization, anything you want to do, a small thing, a big thing, even if you're going to make sandwiches once a month and give it out, just do something of something. Just do something, just to keep yourself connected to the poor, connected to the needy, just to give you perspective, inshallah. So I'm uh, refresh my year to take, uh, to take the students, inshallah. But I have to be in the week, so I have to take leave also because of the process in the week. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll. Coach, remind me, Coach. You know, I'm a click up coach. <laughs> so, uh, so inshallah, we must book a day or a few days, and you can, whoever's available, we'll get transport and then we'll go just to visit. Like, all you must do is just visit. Uh, and 
always when meetings like a visit and you ask people how can you help you don't have to you don't have to come with ideas like you know you're going to solve the world's problems you ask people who are busy you're busy here working here 10 years what can i do to help you simple Person will tell you, you can fix this thing you can you know buy some chips you can get some uniforms you can get some textbooks you can teach a lesson you can take them out you can not not simple things um because sometimes what happens is, is that uh Part of our mindset sometimes is like we want to theoretically fix all the world's problems before we do anything. We want to create like the perfect mental solution. And when I have the perfect mental solution, then I'm going to do it. Like that's also part of like a, like a Western, a Western way of like being trained, like strategy and next step and this, this, this. But something we just do. And we do things unfold and things become clear, inshallah. So I'm like in a year too, not, not another two years, inshallah, before the next Ramadan. <laughs> to at least arrange a visit, inshallah. And there's many causes, doesn't mean nothing, whatever it is. So, let's stop to some causes, inshallah. So, Bismillah, let's open up.